Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, booze. You're with your one and only boo. And we are doing another video today, so you gotta stay tuned. No big deal, I'm just living my best life. <laughs> It's gonna be like kind of like another little get ready with me. I already like got up, brush my teeth. Um, I already started doing my face. I did my eyebrows and like my face. Um, so now I'm gonna try some of my. I'm gonna look into my Ipsy bag. My new some of my new Ipsy products I just got and reviewed. Well, opened up with you guys on my last video. So today I'm going to be using. I'm gonna try out this mascara that came in here. It's Trezik. And it's even got the eyelash curler on the side, so I'm going to try this. And then I'm also going to be trying... I'm not going to do any eyeshadow, sorry. But I am going to do a little bit of this Morphe palette. It's a contour and highlight. So I'm going to try this out a little bit. Um, I work later. It's Sunday, so kind of want to like look cute at work maybe. It was really busy last night, so your girl might make some money today too. So I'm going to get a little ready and I'm also going to be throwing braids in my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I do my own, um, I call them the Kardashian braids because I do the two, but you know, just two braids. I'm going to show you guys how I French braid my own hair. So you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, if you're new here today, make sure you subscribe because... Your girl on the road to 300, and I've been kind of at this stump after I hit 200. I've kind of just been at, like, this plateau. But, you know, guys, we need to get that energy up. We need to get that love up. You guys need to show your girl some love. Make sure you subscribe. Watch me grow. Watch my channel grow. It's growing pretty fast for three months. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm just trying to whip some videos out. You know I'm a full-time worker. So today is a get ready with me. I'm going to try two of these things out of my previous ipsy and then we're gonna braid my hair so i'm gonna show you guys how maybe this might help you i don't know if it's gonna be very helpful but i'm just gonna show you guys how i do my hair and i've been wearing my hair up in a bun too much recently and i'm over it and for work it kind of needs to be back because i just be doing too much and i don't want my hair in drinks or in an ice well so i'm gonna do some braids today and yeah so stay tuned Morphe palette got a big mirror on it, so we're gonna use this today. Um, this is the Morphe palette I just got. Oh, um, we got some highlighters over here, and then this is some um, contour. Um, I don't really ever contour my face, and they probably should have gave me some like little like picture to look at on how to use these colors. But you know, we just we just gonna play with it. Um, if anything, I'll probably just use a highlight to sell the highlights. So we're gonna curl my eyelashes first. So this little thing, so this is a Trezik, um mascara and it came with an eyelash curler. It's a little thin, so. I don't really ever curl, lash, curl my eyelashes and I need to do my eyebrows again, so don't. It's a little weird to use at first. That's just what we're gonna go with. I don't really ever curl my eyelashes, to be honest. Okay, then we're gonna get to the mascara. Same tube mascara. And I need new mascara. Ipsy's giving me, um, Double X mascara, and then there's another one that I've gotten. I'll show you guys. Okay, it's giving it some volume. I'm, like, I'm actually kind of liking this one. Of course, I'm not close up. Oh, I forgot. I got my big mirror. I got my big mirror. Oh, yeah. This mascara. This is a gooder. So I don't know what it is about the triple X, but I feel like it dries out pretty fast. But this one, I like this one, and I like the shape of the brush. Look at it. It's kind of got like a indent. But yeah, that one's a gooder. I like that. Um, the one I'll be using from Ipsy is this triple X with, um, I don't know. You guys read it. It's triple X. And then they also gave me 
this Beauty For Real. Beauty For Real, I was using this one, but it's a smaller brush. So sometimes I like to double up on my mascara. So like this one's like super little, you can get like in and like underneath. Um, I don't really ever do uh, the underneath eyelashes, to be honest, unless I'm wearing, like, uh, you know, wings. So, but I like that. That, that Trasique one is nice. I don't really know about the, um, this is like probably, like, a really good travel one. So, it's, like, in one if you're really about curling your eyelashes. But that's not really a big deal to me because my natural eyelashes are already pretty long. So, but I am thinking about starting um, eyelash extension. These are the two brushes I'm gonna use to contour my face and do all this shindig. I don't really contour my face very often. So, um, I'm gonna use probably, because I'm pretty white right now, I haven't been out in the sun, so we're gonna. From what I understand, you're just kinda like highlighting your face. a good color I feel like maybe we'll go a little darker right here and we'll switch to this brush I guess that's how it works guys I'm not trying to put like a lot of makeup on because I'm gonna go to work but um let's use some of this highlight there's these these two bottom ones are giving me life because they're like a really natural color. Um, but let's do this Cosmic. No, we're gonna do the super, Supernova, this one. We're gonna do this one and see what it's hitting like. And then you always just put it a little bit like above your cheekbone. Usually I do it like right here and then, oh, I just put a scratch in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. And then I'm gonna on the lip. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab this like smaller brush to get up in my because I like to put it in the corner of my eyes. Because I don't wear any um, eyeshadow. And then a little bit under my eyebrow. Usually I'd use a smaller brush, but I couldn't find it. Kind of like outline my eyebrow. Make sure you got a little right there. And there we go. Cute, natural, little beats. Um, I don't do much. It usually takes me like five to 10 minutes to get ready before work when it comes to like my face. So yeah, here you guys have it. Okay, now we're gonna do the hair. So I've already brushed it out. I don't even know where I put my other brush. Um, my hardest thing is my part because I don't usually ever have anybody to help me do my part. So I use this comb. Uh, it's a, I think I just got it from freaking Sally's. And it's got this on the end, but I use this side and I just. Okay, so I just went and checked it. We're split good in the back. Well, good enough. Um. So, what do you guys think about my middle part? I've never like curled my hair and had my middle part, but I've always just like. But anyways, now you're gonna secure one side. And you wanna secure it really good because you don't wanna grab any of the hair while you are braiding the other side. Again, make sure it's brushed out because it's gonna make it harder to do your French braids if you can't see what you're doing and then you're having to pull out knots. So you just want it ultimately to be as clean as possible. Um, I'm gonna make sure all my, I've been shedding a lot of hair guys. I don't know if something's going on. <sighs> um, I got a mirror right here and you guys can see kind of the back of my head. Don't make fun of my part. So I'm gonna start on this side. Once again, make sure you're brushed out.
And down here at the ends, you want to be super tight. Okay, so we got one side done for not doing this in a while. Um, I did pretty good. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. It looked really good. I just watched the video back. Um, but then kind of what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll take my fingers and I'll kind of brush it because you've seen there was kind of like some holes. Um, so I'm going to kind of go like brush it so we don't see the holes. But yeah, she looked good. So we're going to do the other side now. Um, and like I forget what side because I haven't done these in forever. Um... I forget one side I do really good and the other side it's always hard for me to match and then you always want to make sure like I said you want to make sure it's super tight when you get down to this end and I can't keep braiding like this because my braid will look crazy so I always like flip it over but you want to make sure your braid is still going the same pattern with the rest of your hair which is a little tricky but you just kind of got to think about it so now we're gonna do the other side the other side look bomb so this side needs to be bomb and I want to do it one time And you just want to like grab super small pieces at the beginning because uh, you want to get as many, I don't know how to explain it, but like braids in, you know what I mean? And then you also kind of want to think about where your braid is on the other side too because you don't want one to be like more close to the front and the other one be more on the side of your head, so... And that's all about like kind of like where you have your arms positioned is like the way that's going to lead your braid. And you want to try to keep the braid as tight as possible. Okay, now we're done at the end, so you want to remember to keep it as tight as you can because we're about to swap to the side to finish the end of the braid. And usually before I ponytail it, I'll check it. Okay, so this one wasn't as tight as the other one, but I think it'll do. Ooh, I haven't worn braids in forever. But I need to just switch it up. When you were in middle school and you wanted crimped hair, did you braid your hair and then let it down the next day? Because I used to do that. When I played volleyball and we had to dress up on Thursdays or Fridays or whatever, I would braid my hair and then just wear it out. Did any of you guys do that? Where are my dang ponytails go? <laughs> also wanna make sure like not one's longer than the other. Oh, we got a little messy down there, but it's whatever. I'm going to work. So I'm not really tripping. I always have one like little like spot like in the back. And I think that's like where my hair pulls from my buns. But yeah, this looks pretty good. So this is how I'm doing my hair for work today. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, let me know if you got some tips on how to braid hair. But yeah, this is what I do when I'm not feeling the bun. I need something a little different. So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. And follow me on all my social medias. Yeah, and um, if you guys didn't know, now you know. I am actually doing a giveaway on my channel. Um, go to my Instagram page and 
see my recent post and see how you can enter. I'm giving away three Ipsy bags. So if you guys are interested in Ipsy and you want to try something different, learn about new makeup, um, definitely look at my recent posts. So you can try your first Ipsy bag and decide if you guys want to subscribe and start a Ipsy journey like I did. So yeah, thank you guys. Much love. Till next time, next video.